Hello everyone! We would like to introduce the research results on the topic of introduction of blended learning in higher education. This time we decided to conduct organizational behavior module not in the traditional way, but mixing online parts with physical parts. So physical components were presented in the form of interactive lectures and interactive tutorials, while online components were presented in the form of online discussion board and online lessons. While we have found several benefits of introduction of blended learning in higher education, we also want to know about the experience of our students. So here is what they have to say. There were a lot of lectures and it was very helpful for us. Especially, I liked uh, some uh, questionnaires uh, that helped us to prepare for exams. It was very helpful. Um, and what else? I think that there is there were a lot of interesting uh, videos, uh, and uh, which, which really helped us to prepare for exams. I use both an online discussion board and an online lesson and I think that it was really useful because it helped me much to prepare for my exams and for my tutorials. It was good for my self-study because I found a lot of interesting information uh, that I found very useful and helpful for me. First of all, I should say that it was an unusual method to teach students on organization behavior by using those resources. And I should say that uh, the online uh, lessons were, uh, they had a very great impact on um, kind of uh, learning, organiza organization behavior. And uh, I think they, uh, they can play uh, a great role uh, in the future to um, kind of to take this method to other modules also. From my standpoint, it was quite a comprehensive and convenient tool from the standpoint of understanding the information and the variety of materials, uh, articles and other interesting uh, educational uh, tools were quite useful in my education. Additionally, I, did, I, I, I actually thought of reading those articles. I've never been doing this before and doing other lessons and moreover I think due to implementation of similar innovations, uh, OB was basically the most interesting uh, module during this year. So, as you can see, majority of students were satisfied with their experience of usage of blended learning in organizational behavior. And the next thing we wanted to know is the way our students implemented blended learning in their studies. I had an experience to use uh, online board uh, and I did like it because uh, I preferred to use more online lessons. It's more interesting, there are a lot of uh, uh, tools that uh, helped us to prepare uh, for the exam. Uh, online discussion, yes, yes. Online discussion. Where we can exchange uh, our ideas, uh, organize uh, some kind of classes where uh, every student uh, could participate. Uh, so, I she liked it. <laughs> yes. Okay. But I think that it is the best way for us, uh, especially uh, online uh, desk where we can exchange our ideas. Uh, moreover, uh, many students uh, could publish their homeworks. I think that it is a good way for, for educating us as a student. I was using it at alone because um, at home in front of my PC. Uh, mostly we used this website, uh, the online learning before the tutorials because we want to be ready for the tutorials and uh, the mostly when we use this blend, uh, blended learning, let's say, uh, it was before the exams, three days or two days before the exam and it was a great to, tool to get ready to the exam or uh, to get overall introduction to the model in, in a very short period of time. And, and mostly I, I like the discussion board rather than the online lessons because uh, in discussion board I could get the, get the information from my own peers and, uh, and which they, they found very useful for our courseworks, for our study and, uh, and doing homework or just, uh, uh, just doing tasks there was much interesting just, uh, uh, just sitting at lessons. Still, I was not using it quite often because homeworks, I don't do them that often, but nevertheless, 
it's quite influenced on my pattern of doing something because there is such a such an element of competition between your peers and group mates. Some of them make something good and you say, oh damn, I can make it better. So you post it and this is quite a uh, competitive element which contributes to this significantly. Uh, first of all, let me uh, start from online classes. So there I found links to uh, YouTube videos about the, mo uh, the lecture content and some other questions related to the content itself. So I could uh, test myself whether I know the uh, topic or not and, uh, that, uh, and with the help of them I could uh, easily uh, read lectures uh, on my computer. I didn't participate actively in the discussion board uh, because my character doesn't allow it and uh, I prefer to read and follow what, what's happening around. I have more introverted character so I prefer following what, what's happening around. Uh, I used both by myself and when I found some interesting information that I wanted to share with my friends then I, I uh, called them and we uh, looked together. I think that uh, every, maybe twice a week Every Preparing, week? yes, for tutorials we always uh, used to see them. In the evening, it's usually the evening. we uh, see some uh, helpful tutorials uh, at the evening. I think most of the time I did it myself. So uh, the reason was there were YouTube videos and I could not access them uh, via uh, university computers. And uh, in order to use uh, to watch them offline, I at home downloaded them and I uh, could watch them on the go. A lot of students uh, from our university, they were, uh, they were a topic dedicated to individual, uh, individual uh, and there were a lot of interesting, uh, interesting quizzes to uh, assess your personality and I recommended it to all my friends because uh, I wanted to know more about them and to find more about them and I shared uh, uh, this one, yes. So as you can see, majority of students were visiting their online classes once or twice a week to revise lectures and tutorials, to prepare for lectures and tutorials in advance, to prepare for the assessment, and also to acquire additional information. And now, let's see what our students think about the benefits of blended learning. Well, it, it was really fast to review the material you want and it was easy to access. Well, I, I was able to review the presentations, the slides and some pictures, but I was unable, unable to watch the videos. I think that it is an online lesson, that uh, this kind of tool is more uh, convenient. convenient, yes, like online. We can, we can just not go uh, to the university, just not attend, but just look them and we can understand uh, more in an easier yeah. way. Even we can remind them. Because, you know, uh, sometimes we cannot just uh, know everything. We can just see the videos or the lectures and they are very helpful. Even sometimes when uh, some students uh, couldn't understand the language, for example, this is the best way, for example, for, especially for videos, listen listen them uh, many times and remind them. Uh, and using online tools helped me uh, very much and it increased my uh, interest in this module, in OB module. The videos, your kind of um, um, mo uh, module uh, directors did, uh, I think they were also useful because uh, we could see uh, how the things work and it was also very interesting and fun to watch and they were not boring like some videos uh, with, that, you could, that we could find uh, on YouTube or something like that. In overall, I support the idea of online lessons. It creates such kind of uh, competitive environment in our uh, in our class. And so I should admit that uh, that it cannot replace the real lessons that is provided by, uh, by our tutors. But the idea is quite good, and I I have experienced a very uh, very positive learning from it. I think that most of the students actually improved their marks due to using of these online, online tools, educational tools, specifically me. I think that I would not have scored such a good result unless there was the, the, the opportunity of using those tools. 
and I think that uh, uh, it can even replace the role of library or books because because it doesn't require too much time in order to search for the for, for the certain kind of information because we can find the uh, the the data which is needed for our coursework and and for our model and we, and we can just search for the certain kind of information without uh, wasting our time. Since it was the first experience of students with this mode of studying, we also wanted to observe what kind of difficulties they had. So here is what they say. At the beginning there, there were some problems. Uh, we didn't understand how to register, uh, with registration some problems. But then uh, when we asked our teachers, they helped us. Overall there were no difficulties. Of this online learning, perhaps the internet access. And uh, there was a mess on the board, so I couldn't understand uh, whether there were new posts or not, who posted them, uh, to what information, uh, to what topic they were connected, uh, and there was a lot of junk uh, emails. And I think uh, there was only one uh, kind of uh, drawback for them. Uh, I think it was not very easy to access them via mobile phones. And regarding the online uh, de uh, desk, uh, desk, desk board, so it was uh, kind of uh, a bit difficult to access. And firstly, I, sh I had to log in and then I had to uh, choose the board. After then, I could see the messages uh, in there. In that discussion board, I think, uh, not all, all the things were uh, user-friendly. Uh, First, uh, we could not be notified about the news that, uh, that occurred, and we also, some other users also could delete our notes, and we could not find them. And, but uh, I think uh, our internet uh, internet forum could be better used for that. Uh, in other case. We also wanted to know whether students would suggest this way of studying to other students and whether they would prefer to study different modules in the same way. So, as you can see, majority said yes. And now let's listen to them. I think that uh, this is a very helpful for many uh, other tutorial, uh, for many other subjects. Uh, I think that in a such way, the students can remember Everything, some yes. details that will help for uh, exams, for their future. I think that it is a good idea to uh, apply uh, online tools for other modules uh, because it gives you many benefits. First, uh, first of all, it gives you access from your home, so you don't need uh, to go to library to know this information. Secondly, you can find a lot of uh, a lot of uh, additional information, and so it will uh, improve your knowledge and uh, make you more interested in this topic. There may be some modules that cannot use this method, method but mostly uh, it had better to use because we kind of uh, we have something uh, feeling like uh, being bored uh, of those uh, usual ways. It's really useful, so further implementation in other modules is really welcome from my standpoint. I think that uh, there should be online classes as well as we should uh, visit uh, tutorials and lectures because it, because it, uh, it is additional for preparing for exam, I think. Students were full of new ideas. Let's listen to their recommendations. Applied uh, in, social, uh, in social networks, for example, you can share it uh, in Facebook so people would uh, increase the awareness about these online tools. I think if it is uh, integrated to our internet, it will be better because when we want to uh, learn one lecture, let's say, we had to download the lectures and tutorials and after that we had to go to the online um, classes and after that we had to also download them. So we had to do uh, two work, uh, two kind of, uh, two uh, separate work. Uh, that's why I think uh, enabling or integrating online classes uh, method to our in internet will be better. I think that the involvement of more students and from and maybe from other uh, faculties will be more uh, b more beneficial for the students and and I think the idea of their the online learning 
can be very can affect very positively on the study of the students. I think that uh, creating the the application for their online uh, lessons will be very will be a great idea because from my own experience, not everybody can can just attend the, the website uh, in order to know about the, the the news. And the creating the app will be very useful because we we should uh, we can just have an uh, have a notification from the, uh, about the news and to know uh, more. Yeah, her idea about the mobile app would be quite uh, convenient for most of students because accessing all this from iPads or phones with smaller screen ratio is not that convenient. Nevertheless, I still think that it's quite comprehensive, comprehensively to use those tools using desktop computers, so it's absolutely okay for me. Uh, it was uh, a lot better to learn uh, organization behavior using those tools. Oh, I support the, the idea of online lessons and uh, and uh, the, the discussion board, sure, it needs some further improvements and developments that, that can be done. But, uh, but in all, for the, for the beginning, it's, it's, it's very good and it's very encouraging for the students. They really increased my interest in this, to study the model because it was a really new way to study it. It was a revolutionary way, yeah, let's say. And I guess uh, it's the future of learning the future of most universities and this is the beginning, I guess. Our students enjoyed the experience, don't you think? Our module team did as well. And we are looking forward to using blended learning in other modules in future.